Violence has threatened the lives of our most vulnerable members of our communities, our mothers, our daughters, our aunts, our grandmothers, your wives. Alberta has the second highest rate of self-reported spousal violence among the provinces. And Aboriginal women are three times more likely to have the acts of violence committed against them than other women. My question is to the Minister of Aboriginal Relations. Why is this government not moving beyond reporting statistics so we can help stop the violence and actually show we care for my sisters? The Honourable Premier and Minister. Um, Mr. Speaker, I thank the Honourable Member for her uh, distinguished career and for her advocacy mm -hmm. on behalf of her people. Um, Mr. Speaker, um, I wear the uh, Moosehide swatch today because of uh, my passion and my concern uh, as well for, for these issues, uh, which are long-standing. Uh, we are focused on what we can do to improve the circumstances of Aboriginal women. We are aware of the higher rates of poverty, the difficulties in terms of addiction and mental illness uh, challenges, the lack of vocational opportunities, the lack of educational opportunities. These are matters uh, which we can have an influence on, Mr. Speaker, and this government is focused on doing exactly that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm so glad everybody has a swatch on today. I know it smells, but it'll disappear in a while. My first supplemental then is to the Associate Minister of Aboriginal Relations. Awareness is great, but what other supports are there for all women to get themselves out of the cycle of violence and, of course, the cycle of poverty? Honourable Associate Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm proud as well to stand against violence uh, uh, that is uh, perpetrated towards Aboriginal women today, and, and I thank the uh, member for Lesser Slave Lake for that question. Uh, Masqua Chiefs, for example, has a violence unit that is dealing with families that have had violence in their families. Uh, Kagola uh, in the Dene Ta First Nation has got a, a violence, domestic violence program happening. Second Chance for Young Mums is at Enoch Cree Nation, just very close to Edmonton. There are many programs, Mr. Speaker. There will be more as we get this awareness going. Thank you. Final supplemental, honourable member. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's so great to see that the Aboriginal Relations Department is doing a great job. So my second supplemental then is for the Minister of Human Services. What is your ministry doing to support Aboriginal women who really actually need help? Honourable Minister of Human Services. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We know that immediate outreach is vital to women and children to keep them safe. The Family Violence Information Line is available anytime, toll-free, province-wide. In more than 170 languages, including Blackfoot and Cree, there's also resources in Cree as well. And we also have the safety net shelters in place that provide safe accommodations for women and children. And we have agreements in place with five First Nations on reserve emergency shelters to serve off-reserve women and children.